Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the DJ Sessions presents the On Location Sessions coming to you from ADE in Amsterdam. It's our second year here and right now we have a wonderful guest and it's his first year coming on the show. And being at ADE, we have Sicko Toy. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great, doing great. How how much of this uh, Amsterdam have you got to take in so far since you've been here? Uh, it's actually not my first time in Amsterdam. Oh, okay. So... Um I did some work here, some sessions before, actually last year, but um, it's fine because like uh, the last period I was passionate about photography and I just bring my gear here and shoot some some pictures of Amsterdam. It's really nice. You know, I love the city. It's so beautiful. Walking around, obviously we're on this beautiful houseboat location yeah. right on the canal here this year and we're super excited to be here at ADE. What is going to be some of your, your primary things that you're looking forward to doing here at ADE this year? I mean, like, uh, for sure I'm going to meet some friends and some, some uh, people that I worked a lot with. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do, like, connections and uh, mm -hmm. establish some, some future projects, some future collaborations for my project for different stuff, definitely. Are you allowed to talk about some of your future projects? I know we did a little pre-show interview, like, pre-show stuff, but what is, what is the, some of the stuff, what's, what are you working on right now? I mean, like, I'm, um, I'm working on Seco Toy, like, what's the next releases mm -hmm. and... Uh, I'm gonna do some some sessions in the ending of this year. Mm -hmm. Probably, I'm gonna travel actually to Dubai uh, at the beginning of November. That that's a feat in itself. I'd love to go to Dubai. Yeah, yeah. it's actually not my first time there. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm gonna try to like move the the direction of the sound towards a little bit more electronically. Mm -hmm. Now it's like electronic, but a, li a little bit radio oriented. Awesome. So I'm gonna be more uh, hardcore. Now, Sicko Toy, how okay. did you get your start? Where did you get, where, where did the Sicko Toy come from? What, what like birthed name, Sicko Toy? The name? Yeah, oh, how long have yeah, you been doing this the, for? The name is kind of like interesting because my name is actually Alex Kotoy. Okay. So it rhymes there with, uh, with the name, but uh, the thing is like my music feels a little bit like um, weird and interesting, but at the same time it's like playful and danceable, so it's kind of like Seco and the toy. So I heard weird and playful, and I was going to ask you if you could describe your music in three words. How would you describe it? But you just used four. <laughs> I just used four. <laughs> so I have to get rid of one. Yeah, you got to get rid of one. No, it's all good. But no, I mean, it's it's always interesting. How long have you been doing this for? Uh, producing, I've been doing this since two thousand nine. So okay. It's you look like a pretty young guy. Yeah, I'm not actually that young. Really? Yeah, yeah. You look I'm, younger than me. I don't know. Probably I'm forty nine. I'm 38. Okay, so, so you're younger. younger than me. <laughs> so you look younger also. Yeah. Definitely. Thank you. No, um, you know, your latest single, tell us about that. Uh, my latest single was, um, is with uh, Ina and um, Eva Timushin and Antonia. Mm -hmm. It's called Bad Girls. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually worked on it last year in Dubai with Wayne Hector, which uh, he's like a big, big songwriter in the UK. Mm -hmm. And uh, Roland Spreckley. Also, he worked with uh, Eva Max, Rita Ora, and... Uh, all big artists and um, it's kind of interesting because like it's a it's a dance song but it's also like girl empowerment so <laughs> how cool. long does it take you on average to produce a track actually it depends on the track it could take me maybe a week mm -hmm. it could take me like two months okay. it depends on the track but like effectively when you when you start working on it and like being in the studio probably it's not going to be more than mm -hmm. three four days Actually, <laughs> that's pretty quick. I know people that say sometimes three, four years. I mean, <laughs> we're past those days. <laughs> how uh, how often do you produce tracks? How often are you releasing tracks? Uh, probably I'm I'm uh, releasing once a month. Okay. Some some sometimes like that. And uh, producing it's probably every day, okay. almost every day. Where is this producing taking place at? Where Where do you live? Where are you from? Uh, I live in Bucharest, okay. in Romania. And I'm mainly producing uh, at Global Record Studios. Okay. So that's my hub. Any upcoming tours? Any any outings? Anything uh, other than Dubai? Uh, <laughs> actually, I don't think so. I have anything planned for this mm -hmm. year. But probably next year I'll, I'll figure that out. If you could throw an event and have five things at that event, no limitations, black American Express card, sky's the limit, what would you have at that event? I'm I'm super excited about the the whole globe, mm -hmm. you know, in Vegas. That everyone, you know, that that show it's it kind of looks amazing, and I I would love to perform there. 
I don't love uh, phones at shows. I feel like people when start recording and uh, doing all that thing that they don't enjoy that much of of the actual show. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, probably that's gonna be my my peak place mm -hmm. until something else appears. That. You know, they have these parties. They they call them no signal parties, and you actually check your phone in at the door, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they put it in a bag. And then, you know, you're not, it, everyone's all, watching the show like we used to watch it back in the day, you yeah, know? I mean, yeah. we didn't have cell phones and like, mm, <laughs> and then the audio looks like crap. And then the video looks like crap. Exactly. And what are you going to ever watch this? Oh my gosh, that was so cool. Nobody ever watches you, and this. And you don't enjoy the experience. I actually was in, in Berlin uh, a month ago <coughs> mm -hmm. and I saw James Hype at uh, Watergate mm -hmm. and it was a, a no phones show. So everybody was into, into the music. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Percent. I always thought it'd be cool if they took, I don't know if they still make them, but those disposable Kodak cameras. Yeah. And if, say you, when you check your phone in, you get one of those disposable cameras, and then you take pictures throughout the night with that disposable camera, and then you turn it back in to get your phone back, but then the pictures get published that would be cool. to the website, you know? It's like, I think that'd be a really cool idea, you know? That way people are still kind of capturing the night, yeah. but it's not invasive. They're not just like... Yeah, yeah, exactly. They're not so like tied to, to their phones. Definitely, that mm -hmm. would be a cool idea. Yeah, I sometimes have cool ideas, <laughs> but I don't think they make those anymore. Do they even make film cameras anymore? They still they do. Still okay, do, yeah. Do. yeah. <laughs> Where do you process? You got to send it into Kodak or something, and, yeah, and, and get the pictures back. Definitely. So, um, if you could collaborate with one artist, who would that be, and why? Probably my dream is like to have a collaboration with David Guetta, because mm -hmm. I, I admired his stuff since he, he started, mm -hmm. and I saw his evolution and I really get inspired by him, so definitely. What's the best piece of advice you've ever been given in the industry? Uh, probably the best advice is not to give up, mm -hmm. definitely, and if you, if and still be passionate about what you're doing. How do you provide? How do you, how do you make sure that you don't get burnt out? I know that I've been burnt out probably in over twenty years. I've burnt out like four or five times. I'm just going to take a break for like four or five months, sometimes eight months. <laughs> I mean, um, if it's not more than <laughs> one two years, then then probably it's okay. Breaks actually are are pretty good for that, mm -hmm. and also like different passions. Like, mm -hmm. th that's why I told you like I'm I'm into the photography thing and. I'm doing street photography and stuff like that and it gets me connected and it gets me also inspired in doing music. So probably lots of different things, yeah. And and when did you start doing the photography? When did that come into play? Oh, it's it's actually pretty close, it's like two months ago. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> well I'm I'm so driven into it. What yeah. kind of camera you got? I have a Fuji film. Fuji film. All yeah. right, cool, cool, cool. You know, I always wanted to get the Canon Rebel when I was a kid. I started in film. Yeah. You know, and I just shot Film, 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 as much as I could shoot. But then I had to pay for all the processing of it. Yeah. yeah. You know, and that's where it kind of started go breaking to film the bank. Also, I would go yeah. like maybe later to, to film, maybe with a Hasselblad or something like mm -hmm. that. Absolutely. If you could uh, have the f most, who would who would you want to shoot? If you could shoot somebody, who would you want to have on the end of your lens? Who would that be? Probably Al Pacino. Ooh, <laughs> good old Mr. Pacino. Yeah, yeah that'd yeah. be a fun one. I think now that that's he's he's older, it gets even the photo more interesting. I was just I was just gonna watch Scarface last night. Yeah, yeah, crazy, <laughs> crazy, crazy. Well, you know, is there anything else you want to let our DJ sessions fans know about before we let you get back to this wonderful world of AD out there? Um, I would love them to follow me on Instagram, on Spotify. On Instagram, it's Sikotoy. On Spotify, it's also Sikotoy, and like check my music and everything. S I C K O T O Y. Yep. All right. Hashtag at mention Sikotoy. Come to you from ADE. All right. Thank you so much for coming Thank on you the so show much today. For me. Absolutely. Have a good Thank evening. You. you too. On that note, don't forget to go to our website, thedjsessions.com. Find us on X. Find us on Meta. Find us on... I got those right. Okay, find us on TikTok. Find us on Instagram. But the best place to go is our website, thedjsessions.com. Over 600 news stories, exclusive interviews, on-location interviews, exclusive mixes, all that and more at thedjsessions.com. This is Sick Otoy, and I'm Darren, coming to you from our on-location sessions at ADE in Amsterdam. And remember, on the DJ sessions, the music never stops.